So in the last tutorial, we have seen how to schedule jobs on daily or weekly basis or maybe through cron expressions. For the time being, I am going to delete all these triggers because in this video, we are going to learn about retry logic. Let's say we have two test cases here, which always pass. So I make modifications to one of the test cases and to help you understanding this retry logic what i would do is i'll put a condition where a test case would be passing or maybe failing for a particular time frame and then it will start passing so i import a date time library here and in the test case 2 what i do is first of all i create a variable let's say that variable name is x and its value is nothing but the current date time so i just log this value to show you how this value appears and then I'll put a condition here to make this test case pass or fail. So I run this test case. Let's see what the output for this test case is. It gives me this date time in this format. So I see here that the time it is showing is 1314, right? So that is uh, 1 p.m. and 14 minutes, something like that, right? Now what we need to do is first of all, I'll delete the logs from the code right and then i will make modifications to the code i will go back to my red editor and instead of log i will put a condition here so i'll put a condition stating that this log or this value should contain this x should actually contain 13 maybe let's say 19 or whatever you can put here so till that time until that time reaches this test case would be failing and if you run this test case at that particular time when x would be having this value it would be passing right so we know that this test case would be passing only when that condition would be meeting otherwise it would be failing so since our team city job is fetching all the code from github repository so i'll add those changes i'll commit those changes and i'll push on the github repository and i will run the job now before I run the job, I need to set the retry logic. So I go to triggers and here I have a retry build trigger option, right? So go to that and then here you can select number of seconds to wait for a retry. You can put let's say 45 seconds and number of attempts you want to make. Let's say you want to make 10 attempts and here it says that trigger a new build with the same code or maybe a new code. So let us keep it checked only right so now it will retry the code after 45 seconds and 10 number of times now it is 13 16 right now I am running the job manually right so let us go back to build history and see what happens so until we reach to that condition the job should fail so all our jobs should fail till that time so we can see here till now we are on to build 23 and the current build which was 23rd one which has failed due to this reason now it will be retrying it after 45 seconds and again it should fail and when that condition reaches it should pass for that particular build and the next build should not trigger as soon as it passes it won't let another attempt to make Right. Till the time it fails, it will be retrying again and again till the number of limits, till the number of retries we have kept there in the retry logic. So we can see here 13, 18 and the job has been triggered, the 24th one has been triggered and it also failed. Right. Let us wait for the next build and that one should pass. So we are on to 13.19.05 and the build has been triggered. Now this build should pass. So which is our 25th build. Let's see what happens to this. And this is successful, right? So we can check the logs and we can go to the build history or maybe build logs and artifacts. We can see why it, it passed actually. And in the artifacts, we'll be able to differentiate that this has been passed because it has 13.19 in that variable so that's why it passed and it won't be retrying again because the job has been passed and it won't retry again right 
so we can wait for another minute and see whether that trigger works or not because it won't be working because the job has already been successful so we can wait for another minute to see whether it triggers that build again or not so we have already crossed that time and it has not triggered that job again right so that is all about implementing retry logic in your jobs if you have any questions feel free to write to me in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to understand more about these concepts thank you i'll see you later